So, I'd be lying if I said that over the years I haven't thought about going into business for myself. There's a variety of fields that I have considered entering, um, but two of them stand out. One is the food service industry, and two is the woodworking industry. Um, both of which I need a lot more experience to even get my foot in the door. But I've always had an interest in cooking and preparing dishes, so I would love to be a chef and own my own restaurant. I've thought of several names, all of which are stupid and kitschy, which is not uh, what I'm about, so I'd have to rethink that. But there's just, I mean, I, I look at what it takes to run a restaurant in, um, in this time, and I mean, getting out there is hard. Uh, we have an, a relatively new restaurant. I mean, it's been open for over a year now in our town, and um, it's a small business. It's just one location, but they have a, a niche. They have, uh, it's all farm fresh, locally sourced food. Um, it's bicycle themed, and uh, the, the guy and his wife, I mean, they run it. They run the place, and they're there working their butts off all the time. And they, they're not open every day, uh, but they have a nice bar, delicious food, all their um, dinnerware, like plates and glasses and forks and all those things, it's all uh, reclaimed. Uh, it's not brand new. They collected it, had it donated. So, I mean, but it's it's a cool little small town restaurant. Um, but they've got to be working like animals to keep the place going. Now, I'm sure they're turning a profit. I have no doubt they're turning a profit. But it's just a lot of work. And then the woodworking, man, I just, I just need more experience altogether in order to get into that. Because I can churn out a project with relatively good results in a short amount of time, which is great uh, because that just increases your profit margin. The less time you have in something, the more it's worth. Um, or, well, not really, but you get it. Economics. <laughs> but uh, I don't have it honed in and I don't have all the equipment I need in order to make things of really high sellable quality. Um, I can make good stuff but it takes me a lot longer than someone who's established and has the right shop for it. Uh, right now, my shop is a corner of my garage. Uh, it won't be that way forever. I have plans to upgrade and move, move ahead in that because it is a field that I want to continue in. Um, but those are two areas that I can say. Don't get me wrong. Me planning these things does not mean that I am dissatisfied with my career choice. I love what I do. I get to teach information. I get to show people how much I know every single day. And that's awesome. Um, but there are there are little passion projects that they don't go away. Um, but they're just, I mean, it's, it's uh, maybe a, a retirement project, you know? And 85 years from now, when I'm done teaching, um, I will move on to something else in one of those two industries, who knows. So just be aware that if you have a passion project, uh, it's not something that has to come to fruition right now. It's not something that you have to focus all your time and energy on right now. But if it's something you want, don't let go of it. Don't forget. I'll see you tomorrow.